Hey guys, so the last video I did the basic control of double sleeve with the leg pass body position, just how to control. Now I'm just gonna go into like a basic attack series using this control. So, go up. so we'll start off on the side. So basically we're here, right? We have both sleeves, we've learned the basic control. We have this lasso, we have the daily heel hook, closed guard if his legs are really straight. So let's just say that his elbow and knee is connected so we can get this strong daily heel hook. The first attack series I really like to use from here is I'm gonna use my right foot. Let's do it on the other side real quick. Is I'm gonna once I get this daily heel hook in, I'm gonna use my right foot to push his hip out. Once I push the hip out, there's usually two responses. Either he kind of comes back in with his hips a little bit, and I'm gonna use that to pull my knees in, and that loads him into me to go for the classic overhead sweep, right? So I pull my knees in, that loads him in. And the other thing I'm gonna do is with the sleeves, I pull overhead. I was taught it by it was called the sombrero sweep. So you imagine you're putting a sombrero on your head. Right, but you have to make sure you put it on. Most people, what they do is they go up and they don't put the sombrero on, the guy posts his hands on the floor. I wanna pull them down. When you put it on, that's what flips them overhead, right? And the other mechanism pulling them is this de la Hiva hook. See, when I pull like this, you see how that buckles his knee? That pulls him in, right? So when I kind of get this hip pressure like this and I pull, that loads him up, put the sleeves on, and I take him overhead there, right? One more time. <clears throat> so over here, Right, so we have this lasso here, we break past the body, we're controlling, when I'm ready, I see this elbow and knee is kind of connected, I'm lasso, the lahiba hook in, I push the hip out here. I feel that tension uh, when I push the hip out, I just hit hip trying to fight back, I pull my knees in, pull them in, put the sombrero on, and go overhead like that, right? The other series that goes in really good with this, let's go this side out. The other series that goes in really good with this is like, again, I'm lasso here, past the body, he's got the elbow tight, I get the deal with Eva hook in, I push the hip out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck this arm behind his leg and I'm gonna turn on my side and pull my elbow really high. If he has my lapel, that's fine, I won't tuck it, then he just keeps holding it, no problem. I just don't want him to be able to post this hand on the floor. Right, so I'm here like this, I turn on my left side. See, I'm on my side, I'm not flat back. And I'm gonna get to lift my elbow really high and I wanna pull this over my head. It's really important that you make sure you're not pushing it across like this. You want your elbow to go up and pull overhead like this, right? So as I go here, I use this daily heba hook to kick back. That'll start off balancing him a little bit here and I'll get that step going. And then I tap the floor with my foot and drop him, right? Go back up. Right, so over here, lasso leg past body. I see that elbow and knee is tight. If it's open, keep the leg straight. Boom, I think just pull in the closed guard if you want, right? Of course there's other options. I could come in here like this and start shooting a quick triangle or something like that. We'll just assume the elbow's tight. Hooks in, push the hip out, start to go this way on my side. I see him stepping, I tap the floor with the right foot, drop him, lift the sleeves up and come up quick. Okay, right, so those two go really well together. I'm gonna give you guys two more attacks that I think really work good as like a foundational attack series from this position. Right, so we're here, lasso, leg pass body. Now I go for the daily evil. Let's say his uh, leg is relatively straight, right? So I could, of course, shoot for closed guard. Another great one you can do is when this is straight, I just bring my knee in like this, come here and shoot up for the triangle. Push this arm across, drop my hip heavy, and go for the finish there, right? So maybe the match starts like this, we're in closed guard, right? Okay, I feel the guy's gonna open, right? So rather than over cutting, I just accept, okay, he's gonna open the guard, I get mostly of them ready, I unlock my legs. If he goes elbow knee tight, the Lahiba hook in, I can start pushing the hip out, try to go overhead, try to go backwards. Now I'm here, his leg is straight, right? I could go to close guard, but instead I'm gonna come in with my knee. Here, I pull the knee in, right there, triangle, drop the head, right? This, this double sleeve triangle, again, not thinking about double sleeve as spider guard, it's just double sleeve. It's one of the strongest triangles in Jiu Jitsu. A uh, competitor in Sweden, Ahmad, uh, uses it all the time. Actually, Felipe Andrew just used it when he caught Keenan at uh, Europeans this year. I think it was, was that the absolute final? Yeah. Yep. Right? Super powerful attack, right? So we're here like this. You know, I'm like this. The guy locks that leg straight to get rid of the hook. Right, boom, we're here. I pull this back and right here, boom, you shoot up, hit that triangle really quick. Lastly, if we're in this position, we have the backwards off balance sweep, we have the overhead sweep, we have the triangle. Another really easy one you can always go for when you're here, whether I have the hook in or not, I just like go and grab the heel, like this, the ankle. I put my right foot on the hip, push the hip out, and it's very easy to go into this classic sit-up guard series, right? Turn this way. I'm not gonna go super in depth into this, but it's just the idea of where you can go with it, right? So we're here, lasso, hook in, grab the ankle, right foot on the hip, push the hip out. I sit up, grab this sleeve, 
high on the lapel, I pull and I want to drive forward. You don't want to lean back. You don't want this huge space between your chest and his knee. I want to be forward here, driving down like this. Take him down, grab, and start working my way up. All right, one more time. Okay, so uh, another way you can get to double sleeve uh, from the closed guards, obviously a simple one. Another one is just the start of the match. The guy gives me a sleeve, which almost always you'll be able to get at least one sleeve. I put my elbow down, I lift my feet up first, and I fall back to a lasso. Most commonly, people will grab your leg. Break the grip, now we're in double sleeve. Palms up, on lasso, de la heel hook. Now we're working everything here, right? If his leg is straight, I come in with the knee. Boom, triangle. Elbow, elbow and knee tight. Push the hip out, try to go overhead. Try to go backwards, can't get anything to work. Grab the ankle with the left hand, push the hip out, sit up. Grab the sleeve, start dumping him out this way, and work my way up. Okay, uh, of course you can switch into the spider guard, you can start working underneath. There's so many combinations you can do with this system. Uh, but the previous video, I just kind of went through the foundational control. Those are what I think are just four really easy, basic attacks that you could build a game off, uh, and you can build from there. Okay guys, uh, I'll probably do another video on this topic soon. Um, if you guys like the content, as always, the best way to help is like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.